Hello everyone. Welcome back to the series where we are discussing data warehouse practicals. My name is Tirup Parmar. In this series, we are already done with the practical where we already configured listener. Then we have created database as well. Then creating repository and workspace. We all already done with this particular three practical. Now in this series, we are continue our discussion with the fourth practical that is logging into design center. So let's start with logging into design center. Here you can see how we can open a design center and how we can log in into the same. So as you can see, we have to go to first our Oracle software that is Oracle 11 G. Then we need to click on design center. As soon as we click on a design center, which is also called as graphical interface design center means we will be represented with such pop up that is Oracle warehouse builder. This is my version that is 11 G. <clears throat> it will take some time. Now, as soon as, uh, as soon as it starts with a design center, first we have to log in into design center. As you can see, we have to enter username, password and many other details. So we'll just discuss few things. For example, the design center must connect to a workspace in a repository. To review briefly, we discussed the architecture of warehouse builder in topic one. This included the repository in which we created a workspace and a user who would be the owner of the workspace. We use the repository assistant application to configure our repository and create that user. The repository is located in the Oracle Warehouse Builder system schema that was pre-installed schema, the database installation provided for us, the username, whatever we have chosen in previous practical. So you must be first very clear with previous practical, then, in, uh, the, uh, then only it is possible to continue login into design center because how basically we have provided user and how we have uh, basically uh, going to add some detail here it is purely based on our previous practicals so as you can see i'm going to enter some details here so first is a username so i'm providing a user that is bacit user password will keep password common that is oracle only and host name so this is our basic demo particular so we'll make host name as localhost only now few other detail first time we use this application the logon dialog box comes up all blank but after we fill our information for a first time it will remember the username and connection details it will remember username and connection detail on subsequent execution of design center also it will present us with a smaller version of a dialog box with just username and password so that we can just enter password and do not uh, have to re-enter the connection detail the button given connection detail that now displays here as you can see we have hide detail so we can hide all this connection detail then we just need to enter on second while subsequent login for example if i next time login into a design center then i only need to enter username and password i don't need to enter re-enter all this detail only first time we have to enter all this detail so hide information and show information or show detail two button appears. So if I click on this, then it will hide all the information and this button will appear like show details. So these are the two detail. If we need to change the connection detail in the case or to just see what are the set to click, we just need to click on show detail. That button will appear here only. At this is our first time we have to enter all the detail, the username, password are what we specified in repository assistant for workspace owner and the connection detail are the host, port name and service name. We specified when we use database configuration assistant to create our database that is previous practical. I hope this particular points are clear. So in this particular practical, we'll just uh, look at how we can create it. So username password and service name. I have already created a name service name that is TYBACIT data warehouse and then just click on OK. So as soon as we click on OK will appear with a detail like this. Uh, it's just taking time. So we are successfully logged in into our design center. As you can see, we have uh, three uh, this particular 
design center is divided in three parts project explorer connection explorer and global explorer so whatever project we are going to create that will appear here in my project or we can create new project as well so as you can see we just need to click and by default all this flat files and many other things are provided by data warehouse only and in connection explorer only how we can connect it with some other application those details all uh, details are also provided here and global explorer as well so as you can see select this project and then click on design this is the tab which is given there and then click on new as soon as we click on new will uh, it will give us a window where we need to enter a new project name so for sample i'm just writing a project name that is youtube and a project and we can also write description for this particular project and then just click on ok so as soon as we click on ok it will create a new project with many different files as you can see here now onwards we are going to use flat files so in this particular part we are going to see how we can work with flat files that is transactional data so what is flat files a typical data source for warehouse project in this practical we can learn how to create a flat files source module and the same way what do you mean by module modules are storage objects within project that helps you logically group source and target object definition and what is source module source means hold metadata descri uh, describing source system from which you extract data now what is metadata metadata means data about data the same way we have target module where we are going to hold metadata describing your target data warehouse or data marts now remember this is the most important part now <clears throat> we'll just look at how we can uh, import flat files so as you can see we just need to click on files then new and as soon as we click on new this type of screen appears where we just need to click on next as soon as we click on next then it asks us for a name that we have to give so we can give any name for example here we are going to give a source that is this is our source module so we are providing source as a name and then just click on next as soon as we click on next it asks us to browse our flat files remember i have already uh, i'm going to use a ready made flat file so as you can see we just need to click on edit and then it will gives us a browse button from where we can directly browse our source file so edit then click on browse as soon as we click on browse it appears a window and then i have this file already in my computer and i will also upload the same file in the video description section so you can download the same file from there so as you can see i have files flat files here uh, just a second so here are the source files as you can see you just need to click on select and then those files are selected and click on ok so those files are already selected here and then click on next basically we are going also we need to remember don't forget to click on import after finish remember this is the most important part we have to mark this checkbox and then click on next so as soon as we click on next it gives us some definition or we can say some description at the ending and then <clears throat> click on finish so as soon as we click on finish a new wizard appears as you can see where we are going to import metadata as you can see first step that is provide filter information of objects made available for import so we are going to import two metadata files uh, basically i have two files which we are going to import here so all files whichever are uh, if whichever we have imported and as you, as you can see it will gives us available files so there are two files available expose uh, expense category and exports so just click on this particular arrow so it will import all those those files are selected and click on next so as soon as we click on next as you can see now those files are here but metadata was not created for this particular file so status is uh, it's showing cross mark on a status so we need right mark here at a status so how can we get a right mark only after creating a metadata or sample for this so as you can as you can see just select one file and click on sample as soon as we click on sample it shows us where we can basically create a sample data for our flat files 
so we have two flat files and now we are going to create a sample data for the same so that we can work with our practical so just name is given all the details are provided here whichever there on my table or a flat file which we have imported then as you can see keep the same details record delimiter and many other details then as you can see here also we just need to click on next only nothing else then single records only at a time so which type of records we are going to pro provide that is single record only and then we'll get this type of a detail where we just need to click on next so as soon as we click on next <clears throat> and one more thing we also need to click on use first record as a field name now, as you can see it shows one pop-up or error, error message where they are showing that this particular date is a system word so we cannot use it in our data so we just need to change this particular to some other name for example we can write expense date and then next again it's showing that this particular column that is also reserved a keyword so we cannot use that as well so we need to make changes in that particular column name as well so just change that particular name as you can see we can um, change it to any particular for example you can write anything here just change that name then it will accept it so as you can see I have just deleted USD and then <clears throat> change it to character from this is decimal external because it is going to store some numbers and then click on next so as you can see it is done so we are done creating metadata for sample data for first file now the same steps we are going to follow for a second that is second flat file so click on next this window appear then again click on next again we can find this all details here single record same way next and here we can find information and click on finish so as you can see we are only repeating the same steps here nothing new we have done only same steps we are going to follow remember and one more thing when we click on uh, create wizard module connection information appears and that we need to add so just make sure that we select those files properly and we are done with everything so we just need to click on sample and then click on next 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 that nothing more difficult in this particular practical one more thing if you have any doubt regarding the same you can just write your uh, doubt in a comment section as soon as i find uh, as soon as i come across those comments i will surely answer the same and here we'll just see the last part so we are done with this particular practical status shows right symbol only instead of cross sign click on finish as soon as we click on finish here we are done with this two source file is present in our project explorer and in that which project we have created youtube project and in that as you can see in files we have imported two source files that is expense and export and we have also created metadata or a sample data for the same i hope this particular practical is clear in next lecture, we'll continue discussing our next practical. Thank you.